Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome to this first in our series of, I think we'll probably do about four projects from our Paper Craft Society Box 33. And I'm going to start with a card based on this one from the book. It won't be exactly like that. We're going to do it a little bit different. Well, it's me. I'm not going to, I'd never do it exactly the same. So there we go. So we're going to base it on this because I like the style and I like the design. I'm not in love with the black, but we're going to do it differently. Everybody likes something different. You might love the black. I don't dislike it. It's just that I wouldn't choose it. So we're going to do it differently, of course. So I'm going to start with a white card and I've, I've made this for a five by seven card. So this is just a white piece of cardstock and I've used one of those gorgeous papers. Now I've used this bright fuchsia colour and I've cut it down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Now I will add these measurements in the description box below. You don't have to remember them. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a glue stick and I'm going to make sure I get the glue stick into those corners. That's the best. When we're using a glue stick, do make sure you get the glue right down the edges and into those corners because what you don't want it doing is lifting, especially if you're going to be giving this to somebody. Not quite sure who this one's going to yet, but we'll see. So I'm going to lift that. Just make sure we can still see. Yep, that's great. You only see a tiny border, and of course, using glue, you have got time to slide it into place if it's not quite right the first time. So that's looking pretty already. And I'm going to show, before I bring the, I've done a second mat, but before I bring the mat in, I'm going to show you how I created it. Well, I'll show you it first. So I've used one of the stamps, but I'm going to show you what I did. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. I've got a scrap or a spare piece of card. I'll leave that there. And I've got my stamp. The stamp is from the stamp set within the box. And I'm going to use the lovely orange, or oh, it's not orange, I beg your pardon, it's the pink. I'm going to use the pink ink pad that came with it. And we're just going to ink that up. And what I did, I just stamped it randomly. I'm not going to do the whole lot now. But because we want a full image, we don't want second generation images. Now, a second generation image, someone asked me what that was the other day. It's when you... Well, I'll show you what it is. It's when you ink it up and you stamp it and then you re-stamp without re-inking like that. Sometimes you can get away with it. So you're going to get a faded effect. It's all right if you're going to be doing, if you want it to look like it's behind one of the others. But that's how I did it. And I did that random all over the page and I re-inked the pad each time. And for the colouring, I'll just show you maybe a bit of one of them. I used my alcohol pens and what I did, I've used a nice soft pink. I just stayed within the lines and I, I chose a nice soft pink and I just shaded down like that. So just make sure that you don't go beyond the line. If you do a little bit, it doesn't matter too much. But I just drew around like that and then came down like that so if we just do that little part there and for these little bits of petals i just filled it in like that and we just come down like that what i did was i drew it i swept my pen down and then did a feather it's called feathering when you do these short lines like that it's called feathering so i just went round i just redefined if you like the top the outline so we're not actually creating an outline and then I just feathered it down like that. So that's how I always do. I nearly always do that when I'm going to be colouring or adding colour to flower. So again, just define the outline. We're not going to be creating an outline. We're just going to be creating definition. And we are going to let that come down like that. I know I did say we weren't going to do all of it, but it looks like we probably will. But just this one, we won't do all of them. Oh, missed a bit there. That's okay. And then... We're just going to sweep that little one down like that. And then there again, just sweep down. Being careful to observe the lines. So we're just going to do that. And I'll just finish off this little one here. And we won't do all of them. 
because all the others are done in exactly the same way. And I used a yellow, a nice bright yellow, and I didn't stipple it. I just, because it's already got some markings, I just did a nice colouring like that. I just did a nice colour and just shaded over it like that. And I did that with all of my flowers. And when you've done that, you will end up with a piece that looks like that, hopefully. And so what I'm going to do now, I've got this on foam tape. All the, the other one I put on with glue, but this one I have got foam tape. We're just going to raise this one up just a little bit. So there we go. And of course with foam tape, you don't get any second chances. So it has to be in the right place the first time. There we go. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And for the central part, I've used that same gorgeous fuchsia colour and I've just die cut a circle. This is just one of my circle dies from my own stock. And again, I'm going to use glue. I think we'll probably use glue throughout for the rest of this one. And I'm just going to, again, it's a glue stick. Pop that there. And we're going to, it doesn't really matter which way it goes, but I'm going to put it roughly in the middle like that. So it just combines and coordinates with this little border. I know you can't see much of the border, but it is there. And I've cut a slightly smaller die in white because we're going to put our sentiment on the top of that. So we've got one, whoops, where did that come from? Get off. There we go. I don't know where that came from until probably from a previous project. So we've got that. We've got our sentiment set up. Now, all we've got to do now is add our sentiment. And I used this sheet of sentiments, which came in the pack. Jolly useful, that was. And I've used that. And right down the bottom, you'll see I've cut a little strip out. And I'm going to use the You Make Me. And again, I'm going to add some glue, glue stick to the back like that and I'm going to put that on there and just slide it into place you can do that where you use glue rather than tape and I think that'll do and the only thing I've other one I've done is I've used the the pale pink watercolor style paper and I've cut out the word happy I've used this die of course they're opposite ways around because that's the way dies work but I've used it in this pale watercolour style card and I've cut out the word happy so it'll say well, actually because that's quite thin I don't want to risk breaking it so I'm going to actually put the glue on the card because it will dry clear so you won't see it so make sure I get it the right way around and in the right place so just bring it down a little bit so you make me happy so there is our first card, relatively quick and simple. And it will stand up very nicely because I've used a 300 GSM card. So there we go. There's our first card from our series from Papercraft Society Box 33. Hope you've enjoyed it and that if you've got this kit or if it's going to be on its way to you soon, you'll have a go yourself. But even if you haven't, if you're not a member of Papercraft Society, do have a go at this stuff. You can use any type of stamp, especially if you've got flower stamps. Well, any type of stamps, butterfly stamps. You can do any pattern with any stamps you like and you can create your own image with whatever you've got. So rummage through, if you haven't got one of these boxes, if you have, delve in and have fun with it. If you haven't, rummage through your stash, see what you've got and see what you come up with. And I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll be back. I know I usually come on Monday, Thursday and Saturday, but because I'm going to be doing four projects, I'll be back again on Wednesday with our second project. So I hope you can join me for that. And in the meantime, have fun everybody. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.